Oktoberfest is just around the corner, and Lola Peitlinger is using every spare minute to think up new ideas for dirndls. Her designs are in great demand. The fashion designer loves experimenting with cuts, fabric, and colors. She never ceases to be inspired by her hometown of Munich. For me, Munich is a combination of tradition and homeliness. There's a really special kind of atmosphere here that you can't find anywhere else in the world. Now let me show you some of my favorite places. Lola's first recommendation is the University Riding School in the English Garden. She's been coming here for years as she's passionate about horse riding. Here we are in the University Riding School. Since I'm a rider, it's one of my favorite places, but there's loads to discover here, even if you're not into horse riding. The Riding School Café is a real institution in Munich. It's very stylish and offers delicious food. On top of that, you can also see right into the riding arena. The Riding School has boasted a restaurant since 1927. The café has become a regular haunt for generations of locals. Lola likes the quiet lunchtimes the best. Things get noisier in the evenings and on the weekends. We continue through the English garden to the Eisbach Brook. Here we are at the famous surf spot on the Eisbach. It's definitely not to be missed, but it's not actually my next tip. I'll show you that next. Lola Pautinger's second recommendation is only 50 meters away. The Haus der Kunst Art Gallery. This is the impressive Haus der Kunst. It's a really monumental building dating back to 1937. Historically, there have always been disputes about it, but today it hosts international exhibitions. I really enjoy spending time here. Hitler wanted the neoclassical building to be a showcase for Nazi-approved art. It's a difficult past to inherit, and one from which the museum has, of course, distanced itself. Organizers often put on quality exhibitions that deal with political themes. An exhibition about the building's history is running until 2013. Lola's third recommendation is Schloss Blutenburg, a late Gothic hunting lodge in the west of Munich. Lola Montez, the scandalous dancer and controversial lover of Bavarian King Ludwig I, is said to have spent the night here before leaving the country forever. Lola Paltinger is particularly fond of the chapel. This ancient Gothic chapel is really the heart of Blutenburg. It's as if time has stopped here. I'm fascinated by the beautiful paintings, the artistic carvings on the altars, and the gorgeous stained glass windows. The chapel is regarded as a synthesis of late Gothic art. Its original form has been preserved with a faithfulness that's not often found in buildings of this period. Right next door is the cozy castle restaurant. Here we'll leave Lola Paltinger to enjoy the lovely view over the pond. <laughs> 